Hey everybody, it's three guys with three things from practice number 14, a frisky practice at that. Mike, you're up. Well, Larry, sometimes you just have to appreciate what you have at quarterback in Jordan Love. There was a big third down, team period 11 on 11. He does his hard count to get the defense, Quay Walker and company guys on the second level to show that they're blitzing. So now the question is, okay, are they going to blitz or is it just a bluff and they're going to back off? Well, he realizes he has enough time on the play clock to do another hard count and he gets them to show it again. So he knows, all right, there's no backing out of it now. Here they come. What does he do calmly? They can't block everybody. They're coming all out. He just gets the ball out of his hand right away, hits Christian Watson for the first down between a couple of defenders in zone, and uh, it's a heck of a play by number 10. Wes. Larry, a lot of guys this offseason have talked about this Jeff Halfley defense and how excited they are with the mentality of it. I don't know if there's anybody that it fits better, though, than Devontae Wyatt because watching him through these practices, and I thought it was really emphasized today, this guy's an absolute wrecking ball. There were several times during team periods where Jordan Love or Sean Clifford had to just throw the ball away because he was in the backfield by the time they were even into their back step. He is the type of player that I think when you just unleash him, let him go after the quarterback, he's going to be able to have some big time results, five and a half sacks last season. It looks like he's well on his way to being able to build upon that in year three. Today, my guy is Xavier McKinney. Early on in the workout, Christian Watson tries to double move him. No dice, he's there to knock the pass away. Then later on, he had an interception. And Xavier McKinney practices well every day. Sometimes the plays are there, sometimes they're not. Today, the plays were there, and he made them. And that's three guys with three things. See you next time.